NXT, NXT, NBXT, however you want to call it. Today we're gonna talk about something really important that is happening almost every year and I don't know why it's happening. It almost feels like WWE slash NXT are trying to shove in your face that there is gonna be a breakout star this year, a super big breakout star. I feel like these tournaments never work. To be fair, these tournaments produced people like Carmelo Hayes, but I don't think that the tournament made these people. I feel like these people were pushed far and beyond in order to become people who, who they were, and they don't really rely on the tournament. It almost feels like in the case of Carmelo Hayes, people already knew that Carmelo Hayes is gonna win. And to be fair with you, this year, Whenever Lexus King joined the tournament, I felt like Lexus King should have won the tournament because I thought this is the way the tournament works. But anyway, it's just super weird because, for example, in the women's breakout tournament, Lola Vice won the tournament and she is still not able to cut a promo. Electro Lopez is speaking for her. It's weird, and she already tried to cash in her contract. It, why are we doing these breakout tournaments? I don't watch them. I don't feel like anyone watches them. And I know that there is a promo package for each one of the participants in the tournament and all of that kind of stuff. But the, sorry to break it to you, but no one cares. No one cares about a random guy from Chase University, that Hodo University cheers for him. No one cares. No one cares about the winner of the tournament. Someone's Femi. I don't know, I don't remember his name. Who the hell is this guy? Okay, he's powerful, he's big, he crushed his opponent. So? So? Or who cares about Lola Vice? She can dance to Latino music. That's all I know for Lola Vice. Great stuff. I feel like some concepts are working and they're hype and some concepts are just not working at all. For example, concept that is working is the Iron Man, Iron Survivor, whatever match challenge. It's a little bit confusing at first, but I like it, I dig it. But the breakout tournament, super a lot of time and effort into something that no one cares about. People will care about these superstars that are unknown to anyone if they have matches with people someone cares about. I'm not saying that the big guys should always wrestle small guys so they can transfer popularity, but I don't feel like Oba Femi is gonna get popularity from facing the Chase U guy. No one cares about both of them, and no one cares who's gonna win this thing. People wanted Lexus King to win, because people knew Lexus King. I don't know, this is how I see it. This is my little rant for this tournament. Dusty Cup tournament is coming, the Dusty Tag Team tournament. I'm hyped for that, because I really want Nathan Fraser and Axiom to win, because they're really cool, they're really cool, but I kind of doubt that they're gonna win. But see, you care about guys who you know, not about breakout stars. Let them break out on their own or book them properly, not book breakout star with breakout star and this breakout star and this new guy and this new guy with this new guy and only new guys in the bigs. These are matches that no one will ever open. Uh, I, I, I'm sure about that. No one will ever watch the end of that tournament. Maybe some people will. I don't know. Maybe some people will. Maybe I'm the weird one. Who knows? Maybe maybe I am not the real fan here who care, don't care about Oba Femi. Who is Oba Femi even? Is he an indie guy? Is he... Honestly, lately NXT is kind of not interesting. The only interesting match that I was expecting was Trick Williams versus Ilya Dragunov. But the whole thing with Rich Holland injuring him and all of that stuff is a little bit dragging off. Which means that probably Trick Williams is gonna take the title. But I think it's a little bit too early for Trick Williams to take the title. And also at what point Carmelo Hayes is gonna go to SmackDown? Why all of a sudden he is now the manager or the lackey of Trick Williams? What is going on? It's a, it's a little bit of nonsense. But still, I love NXT. 
I like it. It's way better than AW. I still have to talk about AW. I'm telling you, I have a lot to say about AW. It's not one or two things I can talk about for like 30 minutes straight. Problem after problem after problem. And I have seen the last episode of Dynamite and I still have problem after problem after problem. And in fact, the only non-problematic thing in AW is out of AW now. So only problems on the horizon. Have a good night or evening or morning. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow. At the end of the day, I'm alone. I'm filming the video. I'm editing the video. I'm streaming. I'm vlogging. I'm doing a lot of stuff. So sometimes I cannot do things accordingly. But I'm gonna see you soon. Peace. Great stuff.